Question number 10, Dr. Pamjeet Palmer. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. My question is to the Minister for Social Development. What recent announcements has she made on steps to protect children? Good question. Honourable Anne Tolley. Uh, Mr. Speaker, on Tuesday I launched two new guidelines for people and organisations working with children as part of the children's government's Children's Action Plan. These guidelines are the first step to help organisations meet their obligations under the Vulnerable Children Act 2014. The guidelines Safer Recruitment, Safer Children and Safer Organisations, Safer Children advise on how employers of the children's workforce can consistently recruit safe people to work with children and develop good child protection policies. Regulations are being developed as part of the next step of this process, which will cover mandatory requirements government agencies must comply with. Supplementary, Mr. Speaker. Supplementary question, Dr. Palmjeet Palmer. How will children benefit from these new guidelines? Honourable Antony. Mr. Speaker, the guidelines provide organisations with a standard quality child protection policy to better identify and respond to the needs of vulnerable children. The recruitment guidelines ensure that people recruited to work with children are assessed in a consistent way. The guidelines give a good cross-sector approach to good practice and safety checking from sports clubs to voluntary homework clubs and cultural groups. Whilst the vast majority of our children's workers are safe and conscientious, we do know that predators will seek to work and be around children, and we must have robust safeguards in our workforce. Supplementary question, Derek Paul. Thank you, Mr Speaker. Supplementary to the Minister. Does the Minister have confidence in the recent Better Public Service result showing a sharp decline in the number of substantiated cases of child abuse and neglect? Hon. Ann Tolley. Uh, Mr Speaker, it is true that this year we have seen the first decrease uh, in the number of, of substantiated abuse of, ch of children, but I would say um, that it is too early whilst we might celebrate that it is too early uh, at this stage to be sure that that is a trend. Uh, point, point of order, Mr Speaker. Point of order, Derek Ball. I asked the Minister quite specifically if she had confidence in the recent result. and She didn't, she didn't mention any confidence or no confidence on that. Uh, does, does the Minister want to just add to the answer to satisfy the member? I can't insist. The, the latest child abuse statistics show that the number of children abused in the year ended June 2014 fell by 2,306, or 12%, on the previous year. Now, um, I would say that, that the numbers are actually still appallingly high. Um, do I have confidence in the, in the work of child, youth and family? Yes, of course. But I think what I'm saying to you is that it is too soon to know whether this is a, a continuing trend and we will have to watch and wait and see uh, and continue the work that we're doing over the next year or so before we can tell whether that um, decrease is going to be continued. Supplementary. Supplementary question, Derek Ball. Supplementary to the Minister. How can the Minister be confident now or even in the future in the better public service results without a public independent audit on how her ministry is achieving them, or is she going to continue to allow the ministry to act like a self-licking ice cream and manipulate their own results? Either of those supplementary questions, the Honourable Anne Tolley. Well, Mr Speaker, it's very easy to stand in this House and, and, um, and make stupid, stupid comments about some very hard-working public servants who are out there doing their very best. And I have to say that this government, in introducing a green paper, a white paper, a children's action plan, passing a Vulnerable Children's Act, has done more to protect vulnerable children in this country than that Labor government over there or any government that that member's party has supported. Question number 11, Sue Moroney. Thank you, Mr Speaker. My question is to the Minister.